Hello everybody and welcome back to our latest episode of uh, Real Talk, <laughs> where we talk about real situations that happen to real people that can sometimes be real uncomfortable. I'm Tom with Crandall and Associates Insurance Agency and we are going to talk about rain and flooding. So here in San Antonio we've had a ton of rain lately and do not get me wrong, my grass is loving it, but it is definitely posing some challenges, especially driving around. Um, and also too, especially with all the construction that we have going on on major highways like 1604 um, and even on the roads and things of that nature. And so really what we want to talk about today is your car being flooded. Um, and so of course this can happen a couple of ways. You're in a um, low area and your car's parked, water builds and gets into the engine compartment um, and of course you know, engines and water don't typically mix very well. Um, but you also have situations where you may be driving through and running through water where it can damage your vehicle as well as cause damage to the engine as well. And really what I want to talk about today is A, did you know auto is pretty much the only policy that covers flood as a peril, as a covered loss. Um, so you don't have to worry about buying separate flood insurance for your vehicle like you do for your home or your commercial property. Um, but what is important to know is that most of the time when you get into a car accident, you take your vehicle to collision shop, right? Um, but if your vehicle has just been sitting in water, you may not need to take it to a body shop. You may need to take it to an actual mechanic because what we have found recently um, is that not all body shops keep mechanics on staff. And so what I would just urge everybody to do is to call around before you have your vehicle towed um, to make sure that either the collision shop has a mechanic on staff that can look at the vehicle, or if not, and if you believe that the only damage to your vehicle is mechanical, then call around to an actual mechanic shop, not a collision center or a body repair type shop. Um, it will save you a lot of hassle and a lot of stress. Um, so just be sure to give those people a call before you take your vehicle there uh, to make sure they can handle the damage and uh, the repair of that vehicle. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Thanks so much for listening in and stay tuned for next month's episode.